Hello folks and welcome to Kumbuntu 2304 Plasma Desktop. So today I'm going to be talking about installing mouse pointers or cursors manually. Um, this happens sometimes when you are using the automated method and it fails. I'll show you where the folder is located and how you can do this all manually also. Anyways folks, welcome. The video will be more than two minutes. They all have timelines and chapters. I'm going to use Alt F4. Hopefully you've done reading that. So I'm going to be talking about this method here under appearance, under cursors, installing mouse cursors. So a lot of you folks will go in here and go, okay, these are good enough for me. And some folks will not. And they go, I want some new ones, get new cursors. They go in here and they look at the uh, different ways of downloading stuff and hit install. And maybe something goes wrong. It fails. There's a disclaimer in here. Contents available has been uploaded by users like you and have not been reviewed by the distributor for functionality and stability. In other words, a disclaimer. And sometimes they install just fine and sometimes not so much. All right. So if you have a problem installing a mouse cursor, uh, you can try installing it from a file if you download it. But if you are not successful, I'm going to show you a, a method that usually I have 99% success rates. In either case, if you decide to uh, get a new cursor, new mouse pointer, new cursor, and uh, you successfully install one or more, um, it will install a folder in your file manager, in your home folder called dot icons. Let me turn off the hidden for a second. You normally don't see it in here. Okay, so these are standard folders. Control H displays hidden files or folders. So if you successfully download one of those through that normal method, it will create the dot icons folder. If not, you can always right click manually create that folder. Just start with a period. Make sure it's spelled the same way. Okay, that folder is dot icons. And what's in here is currently two mouse pointers. I install that through the normal way. In other words, through this way. Okay, and these two install just fine. However, you will run into a situation where something doesn't didn't get installed properly. Now, with that said, I will show you a website, at least one, and you can download um, cursors from other places, but gnome-look.org, a nonprofit website, is where I go, and uh, it currently has 803 of them. I believe most of these um, distributions get their mouse cursors usually from a similar database, if not the same one. You can do it by latest or ratings. You can find pretty much everything that you currently have listed in here. Also through this website. All you got to do is look at the name. So if you have a failure in here, you may want to go take a look at that in here. Okay, so I believe I'm using something similar to this thing. It's just a different color. Okay, but more importantly, you can download 800 and something of these. So you would go here, for instance. This one's got, um, looks like 19 different colors. And you can just download one of these. Now, I want you to notice that they're all compressed. Like that one is in tar GZ. So if I were to go backwards and pick another one, find another one here. And let's see if these are a little, okay, that one is, you can see for the Windows cursors in zip, but this is in tar GZ also. And then I'm gonna go back and find one more somewhere. Just trying to show you that a lot of the developers compress things a little bit differently. Of course, I'm picking all the ones that are in tar GZ as a bad example, but I will find one that actually has a different compression. And, oh, wonderful. Okay, let's try one more under rating. <laughs> okay, fine. Wow, I'm uh, striking out here. Okay, here's one with uh, tar.xz. Or at least you get the idea. 
All right, so what happens is in a lot of cases, since uh, most of the developers, I believe, get these uh, mouse cursors from the same locations, in other words, the developer of this cursor downloads that or uploads that into a database and the distributions that you see with these automated installers also get their material from the same spots. Okay. And that's a lot of times what happens when you get the new cursors uh, and you're doing the install part. It doesn't uncompress properly. And this, that's my belief is what happens. But in either case, you would just do that and then download. Right now, it's just preparing for the download. And as soon as that finishes counting down, it will uh, allow me to click on that. So you can download that. So one of the radio, um, sorry, the one I'm going to use is called Radioactive. It has a very good explanation of what I've been explaining. So um, the stuff should go into your dot icons folder is what I'm getting at. I'll resize that a little bit. So dot icons. In other words, your home folder, dot icons. Okay, so whether you create this folder yourself or the system created it for you, it doesn't matter. Put your mouse cursors in here, mouse pointers. You can also put icon themes in here but I'm talking about cursors, mouse pointers today. All right, this only has one file. So what I'm gonna do is point to it. So it's in tar GZ. Click and download. I'm not gonna wait on, until this finishes. So basically the file is, is currently downloaded right here. However, to extract the file, you can do this in several ways. I can double click and use the archiver and do an extraction. If it extracts into a folder, you're done. What you want to see inside this folder is an index theme and cursor folder along with, if you have other files, that's fine. At a bare minimum, these are the two things you're looking for. However, since I'm going to delete that on purpose, if you decide to right click and extract here and it extracts into two different items, don't expect those two items to work properly in your .icons folder. May I show you the example? I am going to cut these two. Control X. And I'm gonna place them inside of my dot icons folder on purpose. So you have a cursor and index theme. These two are properly formatted. This has an index and cursor theme inside of a folder name. Inside of a folder name, these are not. So what this looks like in a normal way, this will fail. There's no radioactive cursor in here, even though they're here. It's here and here. There's two ways I can fix this. Yes, I can actually fix this. I can manually create a folder or I can properly extract it. So let me do the manual method first, just to let you see that I can do this. I normally have a 99% success rate if I do this. I don't recommend extracting and dumping these in here though. I'm gonna call it radio, lowercase, doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move that into that particular folder and I'm gonna grab a hold of this one and move it into here also. So now this has the index and cursor folder inside of a folder name called radio. And then I'm gonna open up my settings under appearance, under cursors, and guess what? There's radioactive right there. You noticed I didn't call it radioactive, I called it radio but it's still found it nonetheless because it's inside of a folder. That's what it looks like. This goes to, I believe, 96. Anytime you either install these manually or you pick them manually or from the system, it doesn't matter. You should always log out of your system. Now, do you notice that it's holding onto my previous blue land border cursor? That's because I haven't logged out of my system yet. Anytime you change mouse cursors or pointers, you should always log out of your system and log back in. I don't care what the system is. That's my recommendation on all Linux distros. All right, now I'm gonna show you a different way of doing this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to switch to this one manually and delete that and hit apply. And let's go look at our dot icons folder and see if it's gone. It is. It's not even in the trash. Well, I don't know what's in there and I don't really care. The more importantly, it, it got rid of it. It's not in here anymore, but I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to extract this properly the first time. 
So I'm going to double click on it and hit extract. As long as it extracts into a folder like this, you're done. Well, you're not quite done. You right click, you can cut or copy it, your choice. Control X or Control C. I'm going to cut it. Control X. And I'm going to stick it in dot icons with a paste. And then I'm going to close this and I'm going to pick it manually. You can do this with any cursor. And there it is right there. Again, don't forget to log in and out of your system. So again, if you have a failure when you're trying to install things through here, you know, that's why there's a disclaimer here. My belief for a lot of these systems that use automated installers like this is because the developers compress this differently. Because you will have some of these will install just fine. I had no issue with this one right here, that one there, and this one. They both installed through here. But let's let me get rid of this one more time and try to install it from a file because a lot of you folks are probably going, oh, why can't you do it through here? I'll show you why. Install from file. I'm going to go to downloads. You can see the file here. It's no problem. I'm going to hit open. I got an error here. So let me close that and let you see what my dot icons folder looks like. It doesn't have the folder in here anymore. It didn't install in other words. Let me do this one more time. Install from file. This is the same file I just installed for you earlier. Not a valid icon theme. Close. You saw me using it though. That's because I installed it manually. Okay, back in here. As long as it's in a folder, I should be able to see it now. And use it. And there it is, right there. Don't forget to log in and out of your system. By the way, this goes to 96 also. I just wanted to point out the size factor. It's quite large, actually. Okay. So my synopsis is this. If you can't get it installed through here or here, try your file manager using the procedures I just showed you. All right. Alt and F4, thank you for watching.